Hello friends, this video on laws of motion part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 12 before going ahead with part 13. Now what do you think should be static friction? The name static. What does it indicate? Static means something which is at rest. So something at rest is static friction. So that means the force of friction that resists the initiation of motion of one body over another with which it is in contact. So static friction is a frictional force which comes into play when the body is at rest. That is this friction resists the start of the motion. Static friction opposes imp impending motion. Impending motion is a motion that is about to start. That is till now it has not started but it is just to start now. So this static friction will try to oppose the motion which is about to start. Static friction is generally denoted by FS. The subscript S stands for static. Now let us have a look at this example. We saw that the box was lying at rest on this table. Now there is no frictional force which acts on this box as until we apply some external force on it. Now initially when we apply an external force say capital F the static friction comes into play because the, bo the box is at rest now. Now as we keep increasing the magnitude of the applied force the magnitude of static friction also keeps increasing with the increase in the value of the applied force but the value of static friction can raise to a certain limit after which it cannot increase. So what happens when the value of the applied force becomes greater than the value of static friction then the box begins to move. Now we will see it in detail. Let us suppose initially the box is at rest. When the box is at rest the applied force is equal to zero and also the static force that is the static frictional force is also equal to zero. Now we started increasing the applied force. Later we started increasing the applied force. As the applied force was increased the static frictional force also kept increasing. But this frictional force can increase up to a certain limit. Now when this keeps increasing, this also keeps increasing. When this reaches its maximum value above which it cannot increase, the frictional force at that stage becomes, the applied force becomes greater than the value of Fs maximum. Because this is the maximum value which static friction can take. Now at this point, since the applied force becomes greater, the body starts to move. So the body moves. So, how, why is this friction called static friction? Because this friction comes into play when the body is at rest. This friction is the one which resists the impending motion. That means which resists the start of the motion. It doesn't want that the body should start moving from its position of rest. It is generally denoted by F with a subscript S. Now we will look at the limiting value of static friction. Just now we discussed that static friction that is Fs can increase its value up to only up to a certain limit beyond which it cannot increase its value. So this maximum limit or the maximum value which static friction can reach up to is known as the limiting value of static friction that is the maximum value of static friction. So limiting value is maximum value that static friction can take. Now limiting value of static friction depends on normal reaction. That means let us suppose the maximum value of static friction is Fs maximum. So this depends on the value of normal reaction which is generally denoted by capital N. Also this value of static friction is independent of the area of contact. It doesn't matter whether the area of contact of the two bodies is big or small. The value of static friction is independent of that. 
Now, if you look at this graph, we can see that when no external force was applied, the value of static friction was zero because friction doesn't come into picture when no force is applied. After that, the value of friction increases with the increase in the value of applied force. So which friction is this? This is nothing but static friction. Now the, this static friction can reach only up to a certain maximum value. So this point refers to the limiting value of static friction. Now what will be the limiting value of static friction? That is determined by the value of the normal reaction. We already discussed about normal reaction. Let us suppose if we have a body which is lying on a surface. This would be the area of contact or the surface of contact between the body and the table. Let us suppose this is a table. Now the normal reaction is the force which acts perpendicular to the surface of contact. That means normal reaction will act in this direction. So the maximum value or the limiting value of static friction that is Fs maximum this value depends on the normal reaction N. So this is directly proportional to N. Now we will introduce a pro constant of proportionality. So we can write this is equal to a, any constant into N. Now this constant was experimentally found to be mu S. Now what is mu S? Mu S is the constant of proportionality which was termed as coefficient of static friction. So even in mu s we have the subscript s to denote that it is for static friction. So this is the coefficient of static friction and the value of mu s depends upon the nature of the surfaces which is in contact. So the value of mu s is different for different surfaces in contact. So what did we see? We saw that the value of static friction increases as the value of the applied force increases but it can reach only up to a certain maximum value and the maximum value is known as the limiting value of static friction. So the limiting value of static friction that is Fs max is equal to mu s into n. We will now see the law of static friction. The law of static friction states that static friction is always less than or equal to the limiting value of Fs. It is very obvious. We have already told that static friction that is Fs, it can increase only up to a certain maximum value. That means the value of Fs will always be less than or equal to the maximum value of Fs that is Fs max. And we have already found in the previous slide that Fs max is equal to mu s into n. Therefore, the value of static friction is less than equal to mu s into n. So this is the law of static friction that Fs that is the value of static friction is either less than or equal to mu s into n. So even here we have plotted the same graph just to make sure that you do not forget this. So this point as I told you here, it, here friction is zero because applied force is zero. Here as the applied force increases friction also increases but this is static friction. Now static friction reaches its maximum value at this point. What is this maximum value? This maximum value that is Fs max is equal to mu s into n. This value corresponds to this point. Now beyond this we will again discuss as we go ahead with other types of friction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more.